Okay, a gentleman at the Herons, I believe, Auto Clinic in California. What we have here is an R8 computer controlled General Motors carburetor. Mixture solenoid, and this is the magnetic other solenoid here. Now, what we're going to show you, we're going to start this thing up first of all. We've adjusted our mixtures to get the proper fuel ratio somewhere between around 12. Eight and a half, uh, 11, and a, 11 and a half to 12 and a half pounds uh, parts of air to one part of fuel or you can adjust it with a uh, tachometer to get the best idle right here on these two mixture screws then to show you that this computer will work we're going to start gradually with the rheostat system hooked to a computer system we're going to gradually start increasing the voltage and you watch that mixture start leaning out until it'll kill the engine which shows that all this does is lean it out about three to five percent traveling down the highway. If the car is stalling at uh, idle and everything else, it's probably this is what's wrong. But if you'll simply unplug them, set your timing at 30 degrees before top dead center, fuel pressure no more than three pounds, good clean fuel, the carburetor will function normally without any electronic stuff. Doesn't have to have it on there. Here we go. Okay. Red light means it's calculating. It's sniffing the gas just like if you're uh, mission station. As soon as it gets done sniffing it, it's going to give you a reading. And there, there it is. 12 parts to air to a part of fuel. That is, and you can't get it no better. That's perfect. Now we're going to increase the RPM. We're going to let it stabilize. Now you watch it. Watch it. He's just barely going to give it an increase here on the computer. Whoop, too much. See there? Almost stalled it out. Went right to 18 parts to 1. It's probably not going to recover because the computer's not going to recycle that quick. Close. If I caught it that time, I didn't catch it. It's already gone down. It's already recycled. Okay, I'm going to plug it back in the computer. Watch it go back down. I know what? I'm just going to barely up, up the uh, amperage on it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Now that is absolutely working perfectly. That thing there will get you a very good increase in fuel mileage. So if you can no leak, electric choke, as you can see, let me crack her one time for you here. So if it don't work good, don't call, don't email us, don't tell us all your troubles. We showed you. This is duplicating with it, just like they would test your car. At, you guys call them smog stations and uh, you can see all this equipment over here come on around here and show them all the stuff hooked to these exhaust systems okay go around behind me see all that stuff there hooked up all that stuff hooked to the exhaust system and stuff that's just what they do same thing they do to your car when you take it to the mission joint they use the same kind of stuff and it makes the same kind of readings right up here you can look on the back we got engine to pull down the horsepower just like you're going down the road. I mean, to put a drag on it. Okay, boys, this is your high speed thing for your air conditioning, which most people don't use them anymore. Motor should have enough power to, without having to speed up the idle. Okay, that's it. We're done.